Natasha Watley, 30 years in this great game of softball. You were a four-time All-American at UCLA, a national champion, all-time hits leader at UCLA, number three in all-time NCAA history. You were a gold and silver medalist for Team USA. You're the first African-American woman to play for Team USA. You spent eight years in the NPF, eight years in the Japan Professional League, and you started the Natasha Watley Foundation. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a lot, but it, seriously, it's flown by. and I couldn't even have dreamt the journey, and it's just been amazing. I love it. Now, you wanted uh, to make an announcement to the softball community. Yes, I do. It's a bittersweet announcement, and I am officially announcing my retirement. Um, it's it's crazy because you never think about this day, and you know I've never imagined my life beyond playing softball. Um, but you know there just comes a time and a place when you just know it's time to move on and. You know, I'm just ready to be challenged in different ways and kind of see what else is out there in the world. I think the biggest thing I'm going to miss most is teammates and the camaraderie, the companionship of teammates, going out there and being able to compete with other women, um, having like-minded goals in mind. And I think that's like what's so fulfilling for me that I get to contribute to a team. So I know like this retirement seems like I'm entering this big, huge world on my own. Um, so I think I'm feeling like I'm missing that component of having like a whole team behind me and I think I'm going to miss that the most. What have been some of your favorite moments in softball? I guess my favorite from UCLA obviously would be my senior year. Our year where we were going to be the first class to go through UCLA without winning a national championship. So playing that entire year that's literally all we heard so having that pressure but able to come through and and win with that having that pressure on our backs is something that I'm very proud of you know another moment that sticks out is winning a gold medal obviously you know that's something that you dream about and being able to stand on the podium see your flag being raised and just like kind of knowing the journey to get there being on that 2004 team I learned so much and so that's a moment that sticks out a lot is just being able to be amongst women we had amazing veterans that we you know I was a newbie I learned a lot because we had the best veterans we had Lisa Fernandez Laura Berg Leah Brian Amico Lori Harrigan and these are women that I, I've looked up to and there was never any confusion on like which way that team was going we were just led so great so I was just able to just kind of hop on and and just really enjoy the moment and, um, and enjoy the journey when you talk about moments I think for me going to Japan like I learned so much about myself and like you have a language barrier you you know culture is different but there's a common goal they want to win I want to win so we worked you know so um, I just grew another family I never in a million years thought I would be playing in Japan so for professional softball I'm, I'm hoping that our pro league grows I mean I really think that's the next step or the next thing that we need to establish here in the states is really establishing a professional league or professional platform beyond college because right now college is our biggest platform and that's where we are so strong and honestly I can if we put a college athlete here against anybody across the world I'm pretty sure that we will dominate so everybody wants to know, what's, what's next for Natasha Watley? The biggest thing that what's next is my foundation, Natasha Watley Foundation. I started it in 2009, and I started it because I wanted to give every young girl in an underserved community the opportunity to play softball. And it's kind of evolving now, which is awesome. You know, I've, we've ex I've had a league in South LA now for the past seven years, and continuing to do that, and now we're growing. I'm partnering with Dodger Foundation, which is awesome um, so I'll be able to reach more girls and hopefully going to spread to the county of LA right now I'm partnering with the city of LA um, two different entities and we're growing and it's evolving and I'm hoping to now focus more so on coaches you know right now we have girls that are home from college season that will coach our young girls so I'm wanting to focus more so coaching and empowering those coaches so that they can make better athletes and make give those uh, those girls that have never even come in contact with softball a bigger opportunity. I'm also in the USA um, coaching pool for the national team and I'm excited about that. Um, 
schedule just like this summer. I'll be coaching the junior national team. I'll be an assistant underneath Laura Berg. I'm excited to be able to kind of push those athletes and kind of share my experiences of being on the national team and how international play is like. So I'm really excited about that. I've got a lot of different little things going on. I'm going to always stay in the sport of softball, whether it you know be clinics, appearances, whatever it is. You know, so I'm always going to be tied to softball somehow, some way, because there's no way that I can walk away from the sport. It's done way too much for my life, and um, it's impacted me, and, and it's kind of shaped me, and it's made me the person I am today. So um, I'll be doing a lot. Awesome. Well, on behalf of the softball community, we just want to thank you for elevating our sport and our game.